I'm Madeline Harvey. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Do you ever struggle with tapping into your mixed voice? Do you bring too much push and squeeze into your belt? Do you struggle with gathering energy for those high notes because your voice flips? Well, we're going to talk about that today, and we're going to give you more power and more projection. So if you like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I'd love to see you here more often. So there's a paradox with singing that everybody struggles with because it requires a great deal of control over the voice to be able to negotiate. And that is the feeling of holding on and letting go at the same time. You see where that's screwy? It's a little screwy. It's really, really hard to negotiate with and everybody wants to sing higher notes with more authority, with more power, more projection, but we've got to address the elephant in the room. And that is how we can feel that balance between resistance, that feeling of holding on, and release that feeling of letting go. Because we need that perfect blend mix of the two to get where we want to go. So the trick, I'm going to walk, walk you through an exercise. And I just want to encourage you that if you know what your chest voice feels like, fantastic. And if you know what your head voice feels like, fantastic. You will now only use those, those edges, those sensations for stylistic interpretation. Everything else in the middle is a mix. And that's what we're focused on. Because when you speak, you speak in a mixed voice. We don't speak like unless we speak like this or unless we speak like this. We don't really speak in too much of one register or, or the other. Is quite a mixed voice. So we're going to take our cue from our mixed voice. And my thinking with our exercise is this, that if we go fast, we will both outsmart your body's tendency to over squeeze or over push on those higher notes. And we will outsmart your body's tendency to flip on the high notes. Mm, evil plan is working, right? So here's the pattern. It's a very screwy pattern. So Yes, very screwy little pattern. Now play it for your ear because then I'm going to wear you out. You ready? So here's the pattern. It's an octave and a half. Okay, octave and a half. That leaves us with no choice but to mix because we can't start this in chest and then flip it into head voice. We've got this one continuous breath. So it's going to teach the voice how to get a little bit more connected in that mix, but without straining and without flipping. So there's our, our melodic pattern. The coordination is a double, like a double SOVT. So that's going to kind of hold your breath in or at least slow it down in two different ways. So try this for me. Can you give me what's called a dental T? So if we were speaking Italian, we would say sotto voce, sotto voce. Do, 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 do. That's the dental T. So try this for me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can you feel that? Can you feel how that do, 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 do. presses that air pressure right into the mask, right where we want it to go? It'll, it'll alleviate it from the throat so we won't build too much pressure in the throat. It launches it forward. So that's one of our SOVT coordinations. The other, press your lips. And press them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. You're going to use the muscles on the side here to keep the lips pressed out. Because it's a trill, but it's a little bit more than that. It's a little bit more specific. By pressing the lips out, you create a seal, like a, like a Ziploc seal that stops too much excessive air from escaping. So we are going to... Mm. That's it. But let's try that because I'm going to make it a little bit harder. Let's try it one rotation and then we'll do the harder variation. Okay, ready? Mm. Mm. Right? Feel both the and the right? So now, now that we've got all that. We are going to do eight. 
eight trips around the sun, one breath. So now that I've framed it up for you, eight trips, one breath. When you get to where it's like, ah, I need to breathe, I want you to coach yourself and try your best to do at least three more rotations. Because I want you to see that you can do more with the one breath that you have than you think. But obviously, no one knows your body quite like you. So if it's too hard, drop in and out, you know, based off of based off of your level of, of ability. Don't, don't feel stressed about this, but I do want you to, to, to lean into this as a stamina exercise. So I will probably just go till failure. I'm gonna aim for more than eight, but if you wanna count out eight, do try at least eight. Here we go, and we'll, do, we'll go a little faster. Ready? <laughs> right? So you just went from F3 to C5 in a mixed voice. And by continuing to do those rotations, you are keeping the pressure perfect inside of your body. So those are the conditions to generate more power and projection. But the exercise is doing all this work for you. So let's try it again. Don't breathe normal. Don't breathe extra big, just normal. meaning all down here. It's just as much a long capacity exercise as it is a resistance exercise. Everything is getting balance in this one exercise. So if you, if you treat this like your, your cardio workout, you'll get better every time you do it. So you've got three substructures across the voice. Breath, right, and the balance inside of the body you got the muscle fibers, there's balance there too. And then you've got your amplifier, your resonator, and there's balance there too. So it's like nothing's working harder than anything else. Even though we are stressing the body to do these eight rotations, we're staying balanced across all three as we do. So good job. A flat three to E flat five. Here we go. Regular breath. <laughs> Make sure that despite your tendency as a singer, that you're not over squeezing, you're not over pushing, and you're not flipping. You're not letting everything go. It's a, it's a doozy of a little exercise. I loves it. Here we go. Ready? Regular breath. Stay with me. Stay calm. Here we go. Satisfying. So satisfying. 
but I'll do my best. Here we go, regular breath. <laughs> that you make sure if you're noticing this is really hard and your breath is escaping it is a strengthening stamina exercise but at the same time it's setting you up for perfect power and projection but if you're running out of breath really soon i'm set, i'm saying like three or four rotations in check that seal mm -hmm. press those lips out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that creates a seal a stop so that when the pressure strikes from the T to H, so see that it's the pressure that separates them and then it comes back together on each pitch. Separate, come back together. If it's getting a little loosey goosey, a lot of air is going to escape, like a lot, and you won't be able to make that eight rotation. So check in on those. Here we go. <sighs> Probably a bit better for you. Let's give it a try. But you see, when we do these octave and a half, it does not let your voice lock it or set it and forget it into one register. You can't. You can't. We're at B3 going up to F sharp 5. It's a wonderful range, rangey exercise. So let me just take it a tick slower. Let's try a little bit slower. It's just a little bit of test. Don't let me stress you out. We just did our... So we have placed the voice in the most balanced place. Now we're going to try... Oh, I'm going to sharp. Go on, sharp. There it is. You hear how that's mixy? That's not... Not letting it go. We, but we are, we're trying to be smart with the way that we work so that we have the perfect amount of pressure, but we don't have too much. We have the perfect amount of closure, but we don't have too much. So we're going to try ba 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 two times. And that's it. So what you're going to listen for is, is it released? Like that? Or is it ba 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 uh, does it have punch to it on the top? That's just a natural consequence of the pressure and the, the tension and the placement being perfect. I'm all for perfect. So here we go. Just a test. Just a test. Don't let it freak you out. And if it's too high, drop it down. Throw my mark for my fellas. Here we go. Yes. That seemed to be in good placement, in good voice. And that's one of the things that you want to train. Keep the pressure uh, perfect as you work 
And then when you release it, you'll have a little bit more control because we want that nice, oomphy, powerful, but effortless release. So there you have it, guys. That was our video for today. I did do an entire hour long live on this. I think we did about four or five exercises on how to get a little bit more power and more projection. So if you want to check that out, click on that join button below. Become a member of this channel. As a member, you'll have exclusive access to all of our lives that we do every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. But if you can't join us because you're at work or you're sleeping or you're just getting up, that's okay. You can also have access to our members only area with, um, I think we're coming on 200 videos. So that's a, that's a lot of vocal content that you can peruse and experiment and play with. There's something, there's something there for everybody. So again, click that join button below. It's only $4.99 a month and your contribution helps to support our channel. That way we can continue to deliver awesome content that's just for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Bye.